So hey guys, what's up? In this video, we're going to see about the maximum depth of the generic tree, right? So how to find the height of a generic tree. So if you're new to my channel, do hit like, share and subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't watched my previous videos on generic tree, I would highly recommend you to please watch them so as to develop an intuition about solving this problem. So now let's go and code up the solution. Now we know that in basically a binary tree, we have at most two childs. So how do you find the height of this? We will recursively call for the height of the left child, that is this, and recursively call for the height of the right child, that is this, and whosoever has the maximum of them will choose that one, right, and will add one to it and return it to the root. That's a simple idea that we followed on the binary tree, right? Here in the generic trees, we don't have at most two. We have n number of child nodes, right? So what we can do is similar is the case and similar with the logic. We'll be finding the maximum height of each of these childs. Whosoever will be the maximum one will be adding one to it and will be returning to its root, right? Its parent, right? So here, when I'm at one, I'll recursively call for its child that is three, two, and four. I'll say that hey three, say me what's your height? It will say my height is h1. Similarly, 2 will say my height is h2. Similarly, 4 will say my height is h3. So, what will be the height of 1? It will be the maximum of h1, h2, and h3. Whosoever will be the maximum of these three, right? I'll select that one and I'll add 1 to it and I'll be returning to its root, that is 1. Similar is the case for 3, right? When I'll recursively call for 5 and 6, right? So 5 will basically check for its left, it's, it is null, right, it is null. Similarly, 6 is null, sorry, the right of 5 is null, right. So if it is null, we'll write a condition here that if left or right is null, right, that is essentially if the root is null, when I'm calling for 5, right, it will call for its subsequent child and what it has as a child, it has null because it don't have any child, right? So when it call for null, I'll simply return zero, right? It will return zero essentially, right? And this will return zero. And we have discussed here that we have to choose the maximum of the heights that the child returns, right? What the child returns? Zero returns, uh, left child of the five returns zero, right child of the five returns zero, right? What is the maximum of them? That is zero. I'll add one to it and return it to the parent. So basically five will have a value of one. Similar will be the case for six. It will also have the value of one. That is the height of six will be one. Now three has called for its child, uh, height of the child that is five and six. What these two guys will return? One and one. I will choose what? The maximum of them. What is the maximum of one and one? That is one, right? I'll add one to it and I'll return. So this will have two because one and one, the maximum of them, will be one right and i'll one add one to it and i'll return that is why we had two here similar will be the case for this level right so if you calculate for this you will find that two is maximum here and you add one to it and you have three this step and this answer that we have that is one has a height of three is depicted in this solution as well right so basically this is the sol uh, question that is given on lead code and it has asked for the root or uh, height of the root right so i have explained you the example that we have discussed exactly here right so this is basically this example that is given here and it has a height of three so we have understood how it actually works with the help of recursive call that we make to its child and ask for their height and then we choose the maximum of the heights of the child and add one to it and return to its parent right so that's the simple idea we follow now let's go and code up the solution so now what we'll do is we'll be calling for each of its child and asking them what is your height right and we'll be choosing the maximum of them and we'll be adding one to it and return right so let me initialize the answer variable as zero itself right i'll traverse through the values or the root children's right that is stored in the vector right that is children right here it has a property of children right the root has a property of children and I'll be iterating through it like so. And I'll ask each of its children that is x, that is hey x, right? What is your height, right? 
and the height will get by simply calling here and we'll assume that it returns us the value for the height of the child x right so once we got the value or the height of x right we'll be choosing the maximum of them like so answer and the height that we got from the child and once we find the maximum all of them will return one plus the maximum of all the heights that we found in the answer variables now now let's give it a shot and see whether it works or not i think this should work let's give it a submit and see whether it works or not okay it's a runtime error because we haven't handled the base case we need to just handle a base case that if root does not exist right just return zero right that's the simple case we need to consider now let's initially consider this case right like so and see whether it works or not yes it does let's skip it again and see whether it works or not hope so this will do yes it does hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned how to intuitively have a recursive function so if you like my video like share and subscribe to my channel till then stay safe stay tuned